crisis in Syria. President Obama weighing his options right now. Congress has been briefed. Public release of intelligence is expected today. White House officials now saying that the surprise vote in Great Britain is not going to stop the U.S. from acting. Preparations for a strike taking place right now. We have full coverage starting this morning with ABC's Jim Avila, who was at the White House with the very latest on the reaction to that stunning vote in Parliament last night. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Elizabeth. Overnight, just as the president was, people were briefing Congress on their case against Syria, telling the senators and, and Congress people, in fact, that even if America has to act alone, America must respond. Just before the White House began its briefing, stunning news from America's staunchest ally. Britain is out. Parliament rejected the prime minister's resolution to intervene and voted against any military action against Syria. It is clear to me that the British Parliament, reflecting the views of the British people, does not want to see British military action. I get that and the government will act accordingly. Now President Obama must respond to Syria's chemical attack on its own people alone. Britain was the only other country committed to using its military. Overnight, the administration admitted disappointment, but vowed to act on its own, promising to release an intelligence briefing to the public today, justifying action. But Senator John McCain says the president isn't ready to go far enough. There is no policy, there is no strategy, and there is no end game here. And until we get one, you're going to see this kind of confusion. And to announce that any action we take would not be aimed at regime change, to me, is uh, 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 incomprehensible. Now, once that intelligence report is released, and that is expected today, and the U.N. inspectors leave Syria, that also expected later today, early tomorrow morning, then you can expect the window for a possible American military attack to open.